Hey guys, it's Chad Close here from Close Blender. I haven't done a tutorial for a while, so I thought I'd do one quick because I need to do this one anyways for a game I am creating. Um, it's gonna be a brick wall type of thing. It's 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 four sides of a gate, so I have like gates, and then it needs uh pretty much a side wall because I don't have it stretching across the entire map. So for some reason. Alright, I can use Blender for a while, this is odd. I'm trying to use uh Unity controls. Well it's not it's not working so well, so Alright, so first thing we're gonna do we're just gonna add a plane in here and then what we're gonna actually do is we are going to Yeah, we're gonna go into edit mode and extrude it up along the Z axis and then bring it in. Um, we're gonna have kind of like a trim uh, on the sides, and then type a uh, like a like a what, you, what am I saying? And then a brick in the middle. So let's get a base that we like. Um, I don't want it too complicated, but I don't want it too uh, not complicated. If that makes any sense. But so there we go. This will be one base and. I'm actually going to make them the same mesh because uh, since it's for a game, it's going to be a little easier um, importing and stuff like that, and it's just going to be the best. But I do kind of want like a crease right here. So I'm just going to do that, and if you enable limits, you'll be able to do it. So along the scale it in. Z axis up, scale it out, and then extrude it up. And now you kind of got this, uh, you got this lip right here. It's not significant, but it's enough to kind of make it look like it's two objects, which is what we're going for. Maybe make it a little more. Alright, so this will be the brick layer. Um, uh, make it a little more, probably, we'll go about, right about there. And then we'll go in here and we'll do the same thing, we'll extrude it up on the E axis, or the Z axis, scale it in, or extrude, scale it in, extrude, scale it up, extrude, scale it out. And then we're going to get the top portion, which is kind of going to be the same uh, look as the bottom. Scale this in a little bit. I'm going to make the top a little longer. Alright, so there we go. Kind of a... Uh, Pedal looking, pedestal looking uh, pillar. I'm actually gonna extrude this and scale it in, and kind of make a, a a design in the middle. So it's not so boring. All right. Maybe make this all whole middle thing a little bit bigger. Sort of scale that up, and then that's obviously gonna move it down. So, all right, so there we go. Um, basic pillar, nothing too fancy. I'm not going for uh, anything amazing here. Um, the game is pretty low poly, so I'm actually gonna save this. Um, it's the game is for an Android too, so I also I kind of want it low poly, and we'll just put it in the folder gate and then sides. All right, so now let's uh, go ahead and unwrap this. Easiest to do is just split the area uh, by right clicking up here and then going down the split area. And then UV 
image editor. Okay, so let's unwrap this. Unwrap it. Um, we're gonna zoom in uh, to a good area. We're gonna hit Alt C or Alt uh, right click, and that's gonna select the entire loop, which is exactly what we want. And then we're gonna do unwrap from projection, and then do the same thing over here. Unwrap from projection. And now they are the same scale, although they are not lined up. We can just grab it and align it like so. On this way, when we texture it, we only have to texture one side and every side will look the same, which is uh, kind of what we're going for. So, one problem is the bottom is going to not show up right and the top won't show up right. So, you project from view. Uh, you project from view. A grab. And then we'll go control 7. Select the bottom. If I can select the bottom. View. Project from view. Scale it down. And slap it over here. Now, if I select it all. Um, as you can see, there we go. So now, let's just make this a little bigger on the screen. This is the top, and this is the bottom. So there we go. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do new um, diffuse UV test grid, and select OK. Image. UVs, export UV layout, and we'll save it as side diffuse. And then export UV layout. And then we're going to go into our folders, documents, find the file wherever you put it, and then I'm going to open it with Photoshop. Alright, now let's begin. So let's go on the internet to get some reference pictures. Google um, brick wall texture. We don't need uh, the best. Um, this might work. Let's see what else they have. That. I'm not really going for that look. Um, hmm. This might be the best bet. We'll save image. Uh, just in downloads is fine. And we'll bring this, go to downloads, bricks, 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 bricks. That didn't work. Open with Photoshop. And then it, uh, it actually appeared in my bottom screen. But I'm just going to select it all. Control C and then go in this window. If it selects it. Okay. Control C. Control C. All right, there we go. Took took it long enough, but we got it. All right, so let's bring it in 100%. Gonna zoom in a little bit, and we're actually just gonna use this once. So we're going to control T and we'll scale it up so it's big enough. Let's zoom in more. So we want it right about in that gap we made. 
and it acts as the buffer. Make it a little, a little bigger. All right, so I think that will be good. And as you can see, um, there's some copyright on that. So we're gonna move it over. Uh, there we go. Just check the gap. Check it, and it's good. And then we don't want this half because it's showing on our bottom. So zoom out a little bit and just erase it all. Now for the tips, we're going to look for a porcelain type of texture. Porcelain. I have no idea. Porcelain. How do you spell porcelain? Proclaim horse. Uh, right, there we go. Porcelain. Porcelain texture. All right. That has a low pixel count, so don't really want that. Or this one. Two fifty six. It. It'll work. Actually, I'm just gonna copy image. Open up Photoshop, edit, edit, paste. Don't need that, that's all right. And I'm just going to keep pasting them in the areas that I need. Zoom in a bunch. Not a bunch, but. Alright, there we go. Um, it looks good, so we're going to go ahead and save this diffuse. Um, I'm going to save it as Photoshop, although I don't know if Blender can Blender import Photoshop. Open images, gate, no, it cannot. So open it up, file, save as jpeg this is just so we can look at it in the editor I'll probably use a photoshop in the game engine um, it's just, it just works a little better so side diffuse jpeg open image alright so let's go hit N go to display and textured mode textured solid and as you can see, all of our normals are backwards. So if we go in here and flip all the directions, there we go. So there we have it. Um, it's not very good. It's kind of stretched out, isn't it? The middle section looks really nice, though. And the porcelain, it, it doesn't look the best, but it's not going to be a focal point of the game. So I'm not really too worried about it. So there we go. Um, in the game, I this I don't really want it flat. I'm kind of gonna go for a more uh, bumped look. So let's bring up Photoshop again, and we're gonna file save as uh, side bump bump, and we're gonna make a really really simple bump map. Uh, this is how I make most of my bump maps. It's the simplest way to it do it I think but you just go to image um, image adjustments um, black and white no image mode grayscale yep okay merge discard alright and then we're gonna go to adjustments br brightness and contrast crank up contrast and then you can kinda get the amount of depth you want I'm gonna go about right there see how that works file save as uh, bump JPEG delete the copy part and save okay 
and then we're in here we're gonna create a material and we'll do it in blender render just because I'm not gonna set up cycles I know how to do it but I that's not what I'm focusing on here so material is fine we're gonna create a new texture and it's gonna be image or movie open uh, side to views JPEG and we are going to set mapping to UV and that's good and then we're gonna create a new texture image or movie open we're gonna select the bump map this time go to coordinates to UV and then down here deselect color and select normal and I don't think I have a camera in the scene so if we add a uh, camera camera rotate it seven grab rotate uh, if you hold shift F you can fly around a little bit That'll do fine. And let's just quick render it. We don't have any lights. Add a light or a lamp point. Grab it. We'll slap a couple in here. Oh. Shift duplicate. Grab. And then F12. See how that looks? Alright, so. As you can see, our bump map is a little strong. So in here, we can select our plane, go down to this texture, and then down here where it says normals, just make this like point, point 0.1. And render that out again. And there you see, it's a little less and it's looking pretty good. Um, our porcelain doesn't really have that much, but that's that's fine. So there we go. So there's a simple tutorial on how to make a pretty simple brick post. Hope you guys like it. Subscribe and uh, keep listening for more.